All right, everybody, welcome back to Bloodborne. Let's see what we got next. So we're going to head back out up here, and we're going to immediately forget where to go. <laughs> up the stairs! There's stairs right here. Now, at this point, you can ignore them. Once you kill them once, don't worry about it. Um, and you just heard singing from that dude down there. We'll deal with that area a little bit later. And that crying baby again. And then we already went down that, so. Makes life a little bit easier, like I said, to come up here. You can see the third Shadow of Yarnum up at the top of the stairs. As soon as you get within a range of one of them, shoot him and drag him back down the stairs at you. One down. Ha ha! Oh, 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 oh. And that's what I get for showing off. Um, he will blow his candle at you if he hasn't done that already. I don't remember if he did that the last uh, last episode or not. And then run through here and up the stairs. Because he's going to throw some fire at you. Where are you at? All right, and that takes them down. Head up here. Don't think there's anything around these corners at all. That's where he was standing. Over this way, and is there anything down here? Let's take a quick look. There is not. All right, here the piggy. Sneak up on the piggy. Piggy dead. Alright, now at this point, you can either go this way or you can go down and around here. And I kind of recommend first time, go down and around. Um, oh shoot, I missed that. I'll go get that in a minute. Kill him. A few more chunks. Another shadow of Yarnum. And where's the third one in this area? Where are you at? They're just the two? I thought there were three. There's all another batch of them right there. Two more pigs. Two eleven tier kin cold bloods. Oh yeah, that's right. These are the special pigs. Piggy down. And second piggy. Ooh. Oh, no! Well. 
that means he's going to get my stuff, which they look really cool when they've got your, uh, when they've got your blood echoes. All right, let's try that again. Straight up the stairs, ignore all of those guys. And like I said, this can be a pretty good farming area if you are fast and confident. Alright. Let's actually go get the shiny this time. Head on this side of the fence. There it is right there. A couple more chunks. Not going to go down this time. We're going to come up here. Um, worth pointing out, I didn't get the... Um, I didn't get the critical attack on him because I've got both hands on this sword. So, you know, it didn't really make all that much difference because he died before he had a chance to stand up anyway. But, worth pointing out, that's a thing that can happen. Ooh. Oh, this is bad. This is going to be bad. Don't be afraid to run. All right, one down. Has forgotten I'm here, so take the visceral. Down he goes. So this time we'll approach via the upper route. Down. Oh, damn it. Oof. Should know better. All right, so what we're going to do this time, we're, whoops, we're going to take that top route again because it avoids the piggies and the pigs should not particularly care about um, my souls, that they're my, my echoes. Nope, get away, 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 Ooh, that was almost bad. Stop it. 
Cool. At least they drop blood vials, right? Alright, so this time we'll take the low route. Actually, not this way. But this time we'll take the low route again. We'll go ahead and kill this pig. Just because it's so much fun. Hey, if you guys are going to make me fight you. I mean, I wasn't going to, but if I've got to, I'm going to. Let's make sure there's nothing over here. There's not. One of them has claimed my stuff. Gonna let the rest of them walk away. Actually, this might work out pretty well. If I can get just that one to follow me up the stairs, I'll take it. All right, that's two down. Three down. And that's all four of them. There we go. A hundred and eight thousand blood echoes. Ugh. So, head yourself around over here. Uh, what you looking at? She looks as if she's had a rough time. She's looking up there. Probably something not good going on up there. We're not going up there yet. Oh, there's a Yosefka's blood vial in here. So, I can't pick that up because I have this one... So let's just use that one just for the heck of it. And now I'll pick that one up. And then we're going to go in here. We're going to take this down. So if we continue up toward where she's looking, you'll get to the boss. We don't want to go to the boss just yet. Because we still got that to deal with. <sighs> Pardon me. Making terrible noises at you. 
and we've got 108,000 blood echoes to burn off, so we're going to go all the way down. And we're going to head back to the Hunter's Dream to spend that. Alright, let's see. Let's get those. And then... Why not? Farewell, good hunt. I think I was still technically in conversation with her just then. Alright. Still two, just one. Farewell, good hunt. I am a good hunter. I don't think I've got any new I still want my frenzy resistance up. Yeah, nothing here that I want. Um Go ahead and repair. It can't hurt. And let's check my gems. Okay, nothing blue. Oh, attack up 15. Nice. Okay, we'll take that. as well go ahead and go to the middle one. Alright, so back up the stairs. Watch for the door to open up right there. Oh no! <sighs> so I think I jumped too early right there, and so I jumped into the wall instead of jumping into the gap, and so bounced off of it and fell to my death. How many deaths is that this episode? Like five? Too many one way or another. Here's the good news. If you screw up, your stuff's going to be right here. So you can just try again. Oh my god. <laughs> I promise. Well, I think I've done this already, actually, because I did it once and then decided to not go that way yet. Crying out loud.
So it's funny twice, and if I miss it a third time, it's going to turn vastly annoying. I'm not good at video games. Let's try this simple thing one more time. In fact, this time, I'm just going to walk off. Oh my... It's a great noise. do this. This is not difficult. I really promise it's not. There we go! Huh. <sighs> and what we're gonna do too is we're gonna make sure, yes, we do have our sedative, and let me just say one more time before you go through here, make sure that your Frenzy resistance is as high as you can get it. Because we don't have to want to try four more times to get back through there now, do we? Is he going to walk all the way over here? Alright, fine. You see me. All right, that's not bad. Um, if they're not lit up, they're not going to be inflicting frenzy on you. So it is possible to beat them down before they really notice that you're there. All right, another kin cold blood. Let's go ahead and pop a sedative because I'm tired of waiting. And there's one more. Where are you at? There. And another one here. Alright, so that's it for this immediate area, but there will be more. Is there one more item around here? I think that was it, actually. Okay. So... No, can't run off that. From here, proceed this way. Have some patches, spiders. I don't know, actually, if the Patches spiders react any different to you, depending on whether you've killed Patches or not. It would be neat if they were only aggressive if you'd killed him. But I don't think that's the case. Could be wrong, but I don't think so. Alright, so once you have made your way here, you see that nice looking little switch out there, we're going to walk out here, and we're going to look... I can't really see it if you look up, so we're going to pull the switch.
This may look familiar if you've played Dark Souls. Is it Dark Souls? No, it's uh, Demon Souls. Alright, so what we just did was we took the giant brain that was in there and was causing all that frenzy and we dropped it into a pit to its death. So it is dead now and you are safe from massive amounts of frenzy that can come from being outside. Ow. However, you're not safe from those guys. And it saw me right away, which is not great. Run across, kill it. Pop a sedative if you need to. There's a reason we've been saving them. The choir bell, notice that the walls literally have eyes. What's the choir bell for again? do not remember and I don't see it in my inventory. Hmm. Alright, so from here we're going to go back across um, don't fall. No pressure, but don't fall. So is that... I think that's instant death, actually, if you drop all the way down there. A couple more patches of spiders over here. Now, despite looking like it, this is not where we just were. Um, keep your ears open for singing, but I actually think we've seen the last of the Frenzy Beasts. Let's go ahead and grab everything. Notice how these guys are all dead from spears, which is what the... You were getting hit with spears and the Frenzy. And head down over here. More here. Damp blood tinge gem. Madman's knowledge. Alright, before we go up there, we're actually going to go back. here and we're gonna drop but we're not gonna drop into the hole <laughs> drop one to the side and that is the only blood rock in the base game so from here if you go down there you're dead out through this down and remember this area? So we're back here again. Which is actually kind of convenient. Oh wait, I went the wrong way, that's the spider room. We don't need to go back to the spider room. Uh, 
Um, let's see. We've actually got we've got a boss fight, and we've got something that is going to take a couple of minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and take this, and we will stop the episode for right now and be back in a minute. So let's run off of this real quick. And I'm going to go back to the, uh, well, we'll pick it up from the Hunter's Dream next episode. So if you're having fun, leave a like and a subscribe. Tell your friends. We'll see you soon with more from Bloodborne. Thanks for watching.